Hello and welcome again to RC Model Reviews. I've got a cold. It's terrible. I'm awful. I should be home in bed, but I'm bringing you more videos because look what arrived. It's the Spectre DLG came in this box, but we don't do unboxings here, so that's already been done. And I saw this advertised on the internet everywhere I went. These little targeted ads were saying, look at this plane, it's a DLG, and I love DLGs, and I must admit I need a new DLG, and I've already got a Top Sky DLG that arrived some time ago for review, and I thought, ooh, and I ordered the Hobby King DLG, I thought I'd try that out, and I saw this and I thought, it's $103, $103, and it's a pretty much a, an, you know, almost plug and fly, not a lot of work to get this in the air, it's got pre-covered wings and hinged and everything, looked really, really straightforward, I thought, this might be a really good way to get going really quickly, so I handed over my $103 plus some shipping, and incredibly, three days later, it arrived in my mailbox, That's, it's from Hong Kong, it's from our two hobbies, the shipping was fantastically quick, I'm really impressed, came EMS, can't complain at all about that. Now, of course, if you're paying $103, you're not getting a high-tech composite, you know, bagged carbon Kevlar, you know, foam DLG made to the lightest possible standards. Of course you're not. You're getting a pretty budget DLG, and that's what exactly what this is. But the other DLG I have is a mountain mountain hobbies, mountain model, something or other, a DL50. And that was you had to build it. It was a real kit. You had to put the bolster together and cover the wing and all sorts of stuff. And that wasn't too cheap, and I've flown it for years, it's given me a great deal of pleasure, it's a great entry level machine, but this actually worked out to be cheaper, it's slightly bigger, and it certainly looks a whole lot better, so woohoo, what did I get for my money? Well I got a couple of wings, as you can see, two wing halves, there's a typical, you know, fairly standard pod and boom thing, you've got tail plane, uh, the post is already mounted, this obviously is just has to be glued on, the, the vertical stabiliser has to be glued on, these are all hinged, it's covered in aura cover with a, um, there's a number of colours, I think blue and red were the options, I got red, and it looks like it's aura cover, translucent aura, or transparent aura cover film, with this sort of false carbon Kevlar film effect here, which, you know, yeah, it looks quite nice, and I must admit, it's a very thin wing, it's made to quite a good stance, quite stiff, um, although I'm concerned about the size of these ailerons given that they are just built up, they're not actually bagged composite, I'm, I think there could even be some flutter issues there, who knows when you get a bit of speed on. And uh, other thing that concerned me about the wing, big problem with the wing, now as I say, $100 DLG, you don't expect the earth, but you do expect a little bit of quality control and I'm afraid I've got to give a big thumbs down for the quality control on this model, it's not R2 Hobby's problem, well it is their problem but it's not their fault, um, obviously the manufacturer when they put these together, they didn't check, because look at this, I'll show you, here we go, here is the um, aileron on this wing, you can see it goes up and down, goes up and down, it's lovely, up, down, up, down, fine, no problems, here is the aileron on the other wing, it goes up, but it doesn't go down, look, that's it, it goes just below level, there's, there's no down movement, because this balsa here is warped, so it, it hits, and it won't give you any downward movement on that aileron, what a pain in the backside, I'm going to have to remove the aileron, trim the balsa, and then rehinge it. So it's going to look pretty bodgy before I've even got it in the air. That is really, really bad. So if you're going to buy one of these $103 Spectra, Spectra DLGs, be aware that you know you might end up with something like this, because mind you, if there is a dud one, in a run of a thousand, if there's one dud product, it comes to me. So again, as is always the case, I got the dud. Uh, I haven't seen any reports of other people having this problem with their Spectres, but I've got it with mine, which means what should have been a really quick, simple build is now going to be complicated by the fact I have to fix the damn ailerons, and uh, you know, it really ruins it. It ruins the whole experience. So it's going to be a lot of points off on this model because I have to rebuild the damn wing just to make the ailerons work. Now the other thing is there's no instructions at all with this model, no instructions whatsoever. So you have to be a bit of a, uh, um, it's not a first model by any means because there's a lot of bits here, what, what is this for? Look at this, it's actually not part of the aircraft at all, I think it must be some kind of jig for joining the wings or maybe, I don't know, it's, look at that, it's some laser cut ply you put together, but where the hell, where on earth does it go? It, does, it doesn't go on the model. Huh. There's no hint, no indication as to what that's for. You also get other stuff, you get some carbon tow. Why? What are you going to use the carbon tow for? There's no indication. Um, you get a little bag of spare parts here, or hardware, a little bag of hardware. It's got some little posts for putting on the servo so the wire, hinges, wire linkages can go through. But the grub screws are missing. Well, actually, one grub screw is missing. I haven't opened the bag, and there's no sign of the second grub screw. Quality control. Nobody's checking. Nobody's checking. They're throwing things in bags and saying, that's close enough. 
bad, very bad. There's Velcro, look, here's some Velcro, orange Velcro, lovely. What for? No instructions? How do you know? Huh, no idea. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, it's cheap. Cheap with a capital C. Um, inside, it's, it's not a carbon. This, this little hatch here seems to be carbon. Or maybe it's even dyed fiberglass. No, it looks like carbon. Um, and this is an epoxy fiberglass pod. So this is not going to be the lightest of DLGs. Um, it's not heavy, but it's not going to be the lightest. So it's not a high performance. It's just a $100 budget DLG. Ideal perhaps for getting started. We won't know until I build it, put it together, work out where all the bits go, and like these. What's this for? Some more bit supply, more laser cut ply. Uh, no clues where it goes. Well, not even pictures to go with the plane to tell you how to put it together. So I'll just do my best. Maybe I'll do a build video so you can see how I put it together. Probably not the same as it's supposed to be put together, but that's it. That's my first thoughts on this Spectre um, DLG $100. Um, it's going to be a big build when it should have been a quick build because of this damn stupid wing problem. Bah. Anyway, stay with me. I've got the Top Sky DLG, which I'll be doing a full build and review, and I've got the Hobby King DLG, which is a plug and fly. And <laughs> that was sent, or it was actually ordered, a month ago. It hasn't turned up yet. So this was ordered three days ago, and it turned up this morning. There you go. Thank you for watching. Any questions on the bottom, any comments on the bottom, stay tuned. I want to get this in the air real quick. Bye for now.